Good morning, everybody. Good morning, honey. I know I gotta set my other plant out there so it can get some nice rainwater. I know I have been really, really bad in neglecting you, but it always blooms. I tell you, God is good. Here's my little patio area. I usually come and sit out here every morning, every morning, every um Saturday, Sunday morning to wake up. Oh my God, it's nice, cool breeze. And it is just quiet, thank God. Well, outside the wind. <laughs> and I just love it. So, so beautiful. Gray, gray clouds, which aren't ugly, people. Clouds are not ugly. Um, yeah, I gotta open up all the windows and doors and get some air in here while I wake up at whatever time it is. Oh, it's 9.21. Wow, I can't believe I slept that long. Anywho, like I said, I just woke up, y'all. <laughs> And I have so much on my mind after I say my, I bless the world, say my prayers, um, and, you know, and my affirmations and whatnot. And I got to thinking, do your dreams mean anything to you? And in your dreams, because well, I think only you, you know, just like in the Bible, Daniel, he would, go, the king wanted somebody to interpret his dream. And so he called on Daniel, and that's what my mother used to always read before she would, like, if somebody asked her, hey, you know, Miss Harris, um, what do you think the outcome's going to be when I go ask my boss for a raise or this, you know, new inter this interview or whatever, you know? So she would um, go and read Daniel, and she would dream whatever the outcome is or whatever you needed to know. So in my dream last night, I can't believe I was shocked at myself. I was actually afraid to go down. Okay, imagine being on the top of a bridge. You know how some bridges, you know, they have the wires, obviously, that hold it up. So, we were, like, running from the bad guys. I don't know why. And usually at that time, I just turned myself into <clears throat> a little toy something. And then I hide, and they run right by, and I sit there laughing, and I turn back into myself again. <laughs> but this time, I didn't. And I was there saying, come on, come on, Tasha, come on, come on, come on, hurry up, let's go. And I'm looking down, because you've got to remember you're way up there, 5,000 feet in the sky. And I'm looking down, and I can see all the little tiny cars on the bridge, and I'm like, Tasha, it's your dream. You've done this before. You can do, you can do it again. And I'm proud about that part, that I, I'm, you know, I could do my lucid dreaming, pretty much, and tell myself it's only a dream. Lucid dreaming is when you're able to control yourself in your dreams, pretty much. And, um, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I can fly or whatever. Okay. So I'm running because the bridge cables went, you know, like this and they go up. <laughs> and then they go up. So I'm running down and I'm like, oh my God, this is so much fun. And then that was it. But see, the reason why I say all this is I instantly doubted myself for a minute and thought I couldn't do it. So that means, that tells me, yeah, there's, there's something coming up that I really need to work on and realize that I can do it. Probably all my thousands of clients I'm going to get, huh? I have to turn down and give away. Wow. That's pretty neat. But I slept pretty good. My shoulder feels better today. I don't know what I did yesterday. I picked up something sideways or something. Yeah, so anyway. I put my Chinese suction cups on there. That's another That's another 10 minute story. Uh, my friend came over and he put the Chinese suction cups on there and gave me a nice good massage. And I slept on it, believe it or not, in a way that it hurt. So hopefully it can like do whatever it needs to do to adjust and <laughs> be right as rain again. So, what do your dreams mean? Do you think dreams mean anything? Do you think people, other people can interpret your dreams for you? Because see, I don't, I don't think so. I think that's on such a personal level. You know, because goldfish for you might not mean somebody's pregnant. But that's what it always meant for my mama. So she always knew. So she dreamt about fish, even one of them. If she just saw a goldfish passing by in a store, who's pregnant? Whose turn is it? You know? And then depending on the size of the fish, generally, 
um, was one of her children, and if it was something odd about the fish, like it had a, one black eye, one white eye, then like it wasn't her kid, but she, only she knew, only she knew her, her dream and, and what it mean, you know, what it meant. So, what do your dreams mean? What do they tell you? Can you talk to yourself? Can you leave your body and do your um, astral travel and stuff like that? Because I know for a fact, oh my god, me and, me and Ryan astral travel a lot together, you know? And it's, that's really nice, because you get a lot of spiritual work done, I think. Granted, I used to just play a lot. <laughs> but the good thing in that is I was able to tell myself, okay, Tasha, you know this is a dream. You can't keep the money. So put the purse down. You can't keep the money. Um, or let's go over there, and we're going to talk to Jasmine in his dream, and we're going to find out what's going on with him. Yeah, you learn a lot about yourself and people in... Uh, while you astral travel, but mostly now I contour my thinking to not ask things like, uh, when, though I am surprised, I did ask in my last reading, when am I going to get a, a lover, but that's not nearly as important as how is my spiritual life going, so <coughs> <coughs> he told me all about that and some other things I needed to know. I taped it, maybe I'll share that with you guys. I tape everything now that I got a digital camera, I tape everything. Uh, so anyway, what do your dreams mean? How do you feel about dreaming? Are you afraid of dreaming? Are you afraid of knowing? You know? If so, why? And if, and if not, you know, what do you do with your gift? You know? So, go be good to yourself. I'm gonna sit here and just Cause it's here. May as well enjoy it. Stop saying it's rainy. It's, it's just romantic weather. See, it's all nice and gray. So you could take this opportunity to go to your mate and be good to them, him, her, they. What time am I at? And do something sweet, romantic. You know, just rub them on their booty. Mm. Baby, you look good. You know, see what you get. <laughs> Go have an awesome, awesome day. I gotta get mine started. <clears throat> Do my I got my Saturday list and my Sunday list up here so I don't miss anything. And then I'm gonna tell you, I'm make another video about um, the two people that came over yesterday that I wasn't expecting to see for years. Anywho, love you. Have a great day.